Hi again, congratulations. How on earth do you describe, describe a game like that this evening and, and possibly the entire time because it's an epic tie? It is. I have to start and it's easy to, to do so with a big compliment for Rome. What a performance, what a comeback, what a brave football game. It was clear that they take the risk they took and we punished it in the, with the first goal in a perfect way. Scored then our, the first goal for them by ourselves. Um, unlucky, of course. A little bit of slapstick and then um, scored a second one. In a game which they, how, as long as we don't finish the game with the third goal, it was clear that they will do exactly do it exactly the same way. There was always little rhythm breaks in the game when we controlled it again. But especially in the high intense moments, we had brilliant counter-attacks, but were not patient enough to finish them. So, and because we didn't do that, it was clear the game stays open and then everything can happen. We defended not really good today. Not pretty much the three midfielders were pretty alone. Um, after 1-0, we was not the plan, but we gambled a little bit up front with the three. They left four back and we three up. was not the plan because the pitch is too big. They can pass, we have to run. And then they had all these situations in the box. We defended these situations much too deep. I can only remember really one offside situation. A game like this, there should have been 20 times an offside. So, and that's the story of the game and then they scored a third one with a shot from distance and the fourth one is a penalty which I have no clue. I, I've, I heard about a few um, penalty situations but I didn't see them back so far. So it was the first time that we were not really as good as we can be so we needed luck and um, that's what we had. But I think over the whole Champions League campaign so far it's Absolutely deserved. It would have been, how I said before the game, it would have been deserved for, for Rome. I think for both teams it would have been crazy if we play extra time, if we go two times 15 minutes. I have no clue how that would have happened. Um, that would, be, would have been really crazy. But So now it was 7-6 on aggregate, which sounds crazy because it is crazy. We came in that competition as a qualifier and are now in the final. And I'm really, really happy for the boys. I'm really happy for the club. I'm really happy for our fans. It was a fantastic ride so far. And yeah, now we will go to Kiev, which sounds crazy, and, um, but it is the truth. We will go to Kiev. What does this mean for you? You mentioned there the players and the staff. What does this mean for you, the achievement, to come to Liverpool and get the team to a Champions League final? Look, we were in the Carabao Cup or the Capital One Cup or whatever, League Cup final. We didn't win it. I can't, the people don't uh, tell me in the street, meanwhile, uh, or bit since then, that we thank you for bringing us to the final. We were in the European Cup final. Nobody tells me that. I didn't see any trophies after these games. Um, they don't hang medals at Melwood around silver medals. Um, that's the, the pity. That's the, that's the game. Uh, so there's still. Um, a job to do, but that's how it is. And going to a final is really nice. I did it a few times, but winning it is even nicer. So, um, yeah, we will be ready then. But it's Real Madrid, so we don't have to talk about um, any things. You cannot be more experienced in that competition than Real Madrid. I think pretty much 80% of the team of Real Madrid played all these finals uh, four times in the last five years, and they are still together. So, if we talk about experience, they are experienced, we are not, but we will be really on fire. We, that's, you can imagine that, so we are looking forward to it, but before that we have to play two more Champions League semi-finals in the Premier League, and um, yeah, that's first of all the job to do, but then we have two weeks to prepare the final and we will use that time. John Murray. You can, hi. To what, ex to what extent, really, have you actually surprised yourselves, would you say, in reaching the Champions League final? Or, or did you actually think this squad might have it in them? I was a few times part in Champions League. You cannot plan a Champions League final if you are not 
Real Madrid or, or Barcelona or Bayern Munich, they are constantly in the last four, so it's like going there, it's for them not normal, but much more normal than it is for us, of course. So we had to play the qualifier, so we played Hoffenheim. And, but what I knew that, the, that the, the, the competition and the football in the competition will suit us, that that um, is not too bad for us, for sure. And um, But the boys still had to do the job. It was so difficult so far. We had these two games against Hoffenheim, then we played a good group stage, but at the end we had to win. We had to win the final game against Moscow. Yes, we won it, quite impressive. Um, then we had Porto, 5-0, uh, it was strange, and then Man City, was, which, which is difficult, how you all know, and um, then today Rome, again, my biggest compliment to Rome and Francesco, what a job um, they do, really good, really good football team, really good football, and um, a lot of people are talking about English league is the best in the world, that's probably right, but what teams have it the Italian football in the moment, so Juventus Turin had Real Madrid at the edge, and yes, Rome had us tonight at the edge, um, and it's a really big compliment. Fantastic football. Yes, gentlemen, uh, front row there. Buonasera, Klopp. Complimenti. Um, a Liverpool, all'andata, siete stati praticamente perfetti per buona parte di gara. Poi avete preso due gol eh, nel finale. Oggi, nel primo tempo, avete fatto quello che volevate, dovevate, poi però nel finale stavate rovinando eh, l'impresa. Questa cosa la preoccupa in vista della finale contro una squadra come il Real Madrid? No, not in case of the final against Real, that's not because I, I know the reasons for that. So do we have the widest squad in, in world football in the moment? No, we don't have it. So um, it's quite difficult moment so that this group go went to the final is exceptional. We get all the knocks over the season, all the knocks with injuries in the wrong moment, stuff like that, really difficult. And we still have to carry on. It's not that we can say now, so we are already qualified for Champions League next year. So Ch Chelsea at the weekend is an unbelievably important game for us. I give the boys the night that not because it's cool, they don't drink alcohol so they can stay a little bit longer awake. Then we recover tomorrow and then we go to Chelsea, we, and they are—they have again their knife between the teeth and will fight for everything. So that's life. Then we have one week for for the Brighton game, which is then again very, very important, probably. So we cannot go to a Champions League final with nice football, constantly being better than the other team. That's not possible, and you have to suffer from time to time. That's how it is, and we suffer. No problem with that. So. Um, Yes, we had these moments, but you saw the game in, in all the other moments, even the second half. Because we didn't finish the game, they, they could keep on going like they did. So, and that's all. If we scored a third one, which would have been possible, then the game is already decided, uh, I don't know, two and a half hours ago, but we didn't. So that's our fault, of course, but is there anything to criticize? No. These boys go constantly over their limit constantly and I'm really proud of that and we have to do it three more times and then we can be part of the Champions League next year again and yeah can be a good opponent in the final that's first of all what you have to be and then we will see what happens then. Chris. Oh. Sorry. Chris. <laughs> that you went to just back outside to see the fans and you saw what the emotions were like and why you felt you really wanted to do that. No, I didn't want to do it. Uh. Mr. McCann told me they are waiting, and then I went out. So um, I, I, I did that when I was younger. But actually, it was a nice moment, fantastic moment, really, really, really good. Having, seeing all these happy faces is the best thing what football can do. Um, these people followed us all over Europe, come to Anfield, every week, create atmospheres which are absolutely exceptional and um, we all know how big the desire is to come back on the winning track and they had such a big part in that in that campaign, in that season so far so I'm, I really think they, if they want to see me then they can see me, that's no problem 
they had to wait in the stadium, or maybe they're still there, I'm not sure, but um, so to give them a little bit of, um, or say thank you in a, in a football way with a little bit, um, yeah, celebration moves. <laughs> well, no, have no problem with that, obviously. So it was really nice. And I have to say really thank you for that you reminded me. Fantastic. Yeah, no problem. So final question, uh, Chris Shaw, I think, if we can get the microphone to Chris back row. Do you want to wave your hand, Chris, identify yourself? There we are. I don't know you here. <laughs> there you go. Final question. Uh, Jürgen, I know you don't like to highlight individual performances, but could you just summarise Sadio Mane's display tonight and whether that was arguably his best ever for, for Liverpool? No, it wasn't. It wasn't his best ever for Liverpool. Sadio Mane is, a, is an exceptional player, unbelievably important, but um, we all, not only Sadio, Mo, Bobby, last row, I really think the, the three in midfield were the best players tonight. They had to close gaps big as or as wide as the mercy. So that's not possible, actually. And um, we need to, we can all play much better. We have to. So Sadio, what a, what a game, scored one goal, but really was involved in plenty of good situations. But all the counter attacks, Mo, Bobby and, and, and Sadio, we all know they can do that better. And they were not patient enough. But there's enough space to improvement, for improvement. That's no, there's no problem. We have to improve in the future, in the short term and in the future. And we can. So, but it was not his best game, but it was, he is a very, very important part of that team and uh, love this boy, but um, he can do better. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. See you.